Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back. So today's video is a very exciting one because not only is it a haul, it is a Primark haul. I don't know about you guys, but I personally freaking love Primark. They are so inexpensive and they have the best things ever. If you're like Disney obsessed, if you like unicorns, Harry Potter, um mermaids they freaking have everything they have it all they always pay close attention to the trends that are going on they release so much stuff all the freaking time and it is just so affordable so shopping at primark is definitely one of my favorite things to do so on my last trip to disneyland paris we actually went to a shopping center nearby and they had a huge primark i think it was pretty new actually and there was like no one in the store if you guys know primark it can get really 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 crowded and busy in there but there was literally Truly, no one in the store. It was so nice to shop at. Um, I also got to try on a bunch of clothing, which normally I don't really bother too much with that. But now I had the time to look through everything, which is what I did. And that's why I have a huge bag to share with you guys. I also picked up a lot of makeup, which I'm also going to show you guys. So this haul is definitely going to be a long one. So grab a snack, some drinks, and let's just get started. So the first few things in my bag are actually headpieces. So since I film a lot of tutorials, I always need something to put my hair back. And I love these cute like cat ears. So I stumbled upon these like mauve ones which have like a beautiful design on them. They have these flowers and they're just so stunning and so fun to wear in videos. Then I also found a pink version of that which is so cute. Um, and I think these were, hold on, I have all the prices in my phone. These are 4 euros a piece so again super inexpensive. And then I also got this little thing to put my hair back. It's really soft, it has these cute ears and it's just so handy to put your hair back. Um, I can't remember how much this was, but I'm guessing it was around 2 to 3 euros, but it's so cute, I mean... And I also stumbled upon this really, really, really cute, like, makeup brush holder. As you can see, it has these shells on it and a beautiful, like, iridescent um, sheen to it. So you're supposed to use this to travel with, so you can just put your brushes in this and close it. But I like displaying my brushes in this because, again, it's so freaking adorable. It's very, like, mermaid-esque, and I really love mermaid things, so yeah. Next, I got a few things from Disney. So I got these invisible socks that have... Huh, what is he called in English? I think Thumper? In Dutch he's called Stampertje. So yeah, it's the little rabbit and he's all over these socks and they're so cute and I really love these socks to wear in my All Stars because you don't really see them but you're still wearing socks. So I got this pack of three socks. Then I also got this really cute hanging mirror. So this is basically like a Minnie Mouse um, little mirror that you can hang up but it is so stunning. This was 7 euros by the way, the socks were 350 and the brush holder, I can't remember how much it was. So this is what the little hanging mirror looks like. It has like a rose gold um, finish to it, but it also has the mini bow, and it is just so, so, so cute. Um, I cannot wait to hang this in my room because this will look stunning. Then I also found a flounder mug. The Little Mermaid was my favorite Disney princess ever when I was a kid, and I freaking love flounder. Um, in Dutch, he's called Boche, and I was so obsessed with him. So when I saw that they had Boche in Primark. I had to pick him up. It's just like a little mug, but he is so cute. Look at that. Look at that cute face. Then I also got some eyebrow trimming scissors. I really needed a pair because mine broke and yeah, these were only 150 so again, super cheap. Oh, and flounder was 7 euros. And I also got a few clothing pieces, as I mentioned. So the first thing I picked up is actually this shirt I'm wearing right now. It says, tall best friend, and it has like a little um, coffee cup on it. So I got this in a few sizes too big because I wanted to wear this to sleep around in. And I really like my shirts to be oversized and just very comfy to sleep in. So I got a few sizes up and this was 5 euros. So the next clothing item I got is a Mickey Mouse shirt. So it has Mickey Mouse on it, these beautiful like colors. And again, I got this a little bit oversized because I hate when shirts like are really tight. And this one was 8 euros. Then I also got a Disney sweater on sale. So this says Mickey and Minnie and it has Mickey and Minnie on it. So it's just basically a black sweater. I can't remember how much it was exactly, but I got it on sale and I think it was like six or seven euros so this was really a steal like that was a bargain then i got another disney shirt this one says mickey mouse and it has mickey mouse on it so this is more of a gray shirt 
Um, and again, I got it oversized because why not? And this was, hold on, I can't remember how much it was, but I'm guessing it was 8 euros as well. Then I got a pair of denim shorts. These are just high-waisted shorts and they fitted me perfectly. They're not too short because I hate really, really, really short shorts. Um, so yeah, and again, they're high-waisted. I got a size 40 and these were um, 13 euros. So for shorts, that is really inexpensive. Then I also got two of the same shirts. So these are like off the shoulder shirts, but they do have straps. They're not the most comfortable to wear ever because this always goes up a little bit and then the straps just fall off my shoulders. But they are really, really, really cute. And these are each nine euros. So I got a floral one. And then I also got the yellow version. I thought, why not? Since it is so affordable, why not just play around with a little bit of color? So that's what I did by picking up the yellow one. And then the last clothing item I picked up was actually this parka in a bag. So it's basically like a rain jacket that you can fold up into a little pouch. Um, and it is pink, it's long. And I didn't really have like a good raincoat. Um, this is supposed to be like waterproof. And it was only 10 euros. So I decided to pick it up. I've already worn it a few times. And I didn't get wet, but it wasn't like pouring rain. It was just a little bit of rain. So we'll see what happens when it's like pouring rain outside. I might get wet. Um, but yeah, it was only 10 euros so we can't complain about that and then as I mentioned I also picked up a lot of makeup I'm planning on doing a first impressions testing primer makeup so I basically got a full face of makeup to try I'm going to film that next week but this way you guys will know what to expect in that video so this is all of the makeup I picked up right here so I got the PS Pro duo blending brush set this was 4 euros and it comes with two blending brushes so I'm really curious to see if these will actually apply my eyeshadow nicely um, but they look really nice actually so yeah I'm super excited to see how they work then they had a new K-pop collection of makeup so I picked up the K-pop Sweet Cheeks Blush and Highlight Palette this is Cherry Fragrance so this is what the packaging looks like and then this is the inside right here so you get a few like blushes slash highlighting shades and they actually smell like cherry so I'm going to swatch a few of them right now so yeah this is what they look like these are very unique colors so I don't know how I will wear them but I am super excited to test them out and see if they're any good or not then from their chocolate line I picked up the PS chocolate eyeshadow palette um, by the way this was uh, the K-pop palette was 7 euros and then this chocolate palette was 4 euros so this is the PS chocolate eyeshadow palette so this is what it looks like on the inside it smells like chocolate and it has three eyeshadow shades in here so a shimmery metallic one and then two matte shades right here so again, really curious about that. Then they also had like an entire bronze collection, which was so freaking beautiful, but everything was like touched and gross. So I had a hard time finding products that were like still good to go, if you know what I mean. So I got the bronze shade and shimmer eyeshadow palette. This is what it looks like. This one is coconut fragrance and I love anything coconut fragrance. This was 6 euros and then this is what it looks like on the inside. So this is a beautiful, beautiful eyeshadow palette with a lot of warm tones. And I cannot wait to create a tutorial with this because that is freaking stunning. These colors are gorgeous and it does smell like coconuts. I want to swatch a few shades. That's actually not bad at all. Not that bad. From the same bronze collection, I got the PS Bronze Instant Radiance Highlighting Drops. So this is what they look like right here. They're basically like, yeah, highlighting drops. Um, so this is what that looks like. It looks very promising. Doesn't really smell like anything special, but again, I cannot wait to play around with this makeup. I am so excited to film that video, like so excited. The only thing I didn't pick up for a full face is bronzer and a setting spray, but I didn't, I just, I didn't find any. So yeah, otherwise I would have picked it up, but I couldn't find any. So also from the bronze collection, I got the Shimmer Glow Powder Highlight. This is what it looks like. When I swatched this, I was blown away, like literally blown away. So this is what that looks like, but hello. Do you guys see that? I will swatch it right here, but <laughs> I cannot wait to put that on my face. That has to go on my cheeks instantly. That looks promising. All right, what else? I got the PS Nudes Lip Collection. This is a high shine lip gloss and lip liner duo in the shade Mesmerize. So this is what that looks like. It looks like a Kim Kardashian dupe, I would say, like a Kylie Kim Kardashian dupe, but yeah. 
I love a good gloss, so who knows, maybe this is good. Got the PS Sweet Peach Blusher. This looked so beautiful. This was only $3.50. This, by the way, was $4.00. Um, the highlighter was 3 and then this was 350 I always forget to mention the prices. To set my makeup, I picked up the PS Rice Powder Loose Powder to set makeup and absorb oil for a matte finish. This was 4 euros. Um, yeah. As a makeup base, I got the PS Instagirl No Filter Priming Oil. This is an essential oil blend to prep skin for a moisture rich makeup application with a dewy finish. I love a dewy finish, I love oils and the ingredients actually weren't bad. I checked the ingredients list and there's nothing bad in here. This was 7 euros and I'll open it up so you guys can see what it looks like. So this is the oil right here. I am super excited about this, like really excited. I've always wanted to try out the Smashbox priming oil so we'll see if that one is any good. I also got a concealer, this is the PS My Perfect Color Liquid Concealer in the shade Porcelain. So this says it's medium coverage with vitamin E and aloe vera. This was 3 euros, super inexpensive and I'm always down to try new concealers. Then for foundation I decided to pick up the PS My Perfect Color Moisturizing Foundation Stick. I got the shade um, Nude Beige. This was... 3 euros as well. So yeah, I cannot believe this foundation was only 3 euros and I actually heard a lot of amazing things about it. So I also got some brow products. So this is the PS Brow Amplify in the shade Light. It's basically like a brow pomade but it also has a little brush included in it. Then I also got the PS Brow Set Gel which is basically a clear um, setting gel. Again, I cannot wait to try everything out. That video is going to be bomb. Of course, picked up a mascara. This is the Runway Ready Lengthening Mascara, again by PS. This was $2.50. Why do I always forget this? The brow pomade was $3.50 and the gel was $2.50. Got some uh, false eyelashes. These are the Wispy Style. Um, and these were 150. I also got some blenders to try. I mean, why not? I would love to see if these compared to my beauty blender. These were 350 for four blenders, which is super inexpensive. You have a big one, a medium, and then a smaller one right here. That one could be amazing for concealer. And then lastly, I also got a lip product. This is the High Pigment Color and Matte Finish Super Matte Liquid Lipstick, and I picked up the shade Kim. So let's go ahead and give it a little swatch. Alright, so that's a beautiful, like, very um, nude pink shade. And these don't really smell like anything special. And this was... Uh, this was $2.50. So that was everything I picked up from Primark recently. I don't know how I did it, but I managed to spend a lot of money at Primark. But I am really happy with everything I picked up. And again, so, 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 so excited to film that video next week and test out all of these makeup goodies. But yeah, that concludes this video, guys. So if you like Primark hauls, give it a big thumbs up. If you have any video requests or things you want me to film, talk about, post, whatever it is, leave it down below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I love you and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Bye guys.